In less than a week, children throughout Central Florida head back to school. Images of school shootings like the one in Uvalde, Texas, remain fresh in the minds of many parents and students. So tonight we examine new measures school districts are taking to better protect students and staff. News 6 investigator Mike DeForest joins us now. So Mike, you've learned many school safety improvements involve new technology. Well, Matt, whether there's an emergency on a school campus, be it a dangerous person with a weapon or a child injured in PE class, school officials say it's important to get help to the right location and to get it there quickly. The technology you're about to see is designed to do just that. They press it three times and then it sets off an alert. With just a okay. few clicks of a button on a badge worn around their necks, school employees can immediately summon coworkers for help during routine emergencies, such as medical issues or fights, as this promotional video shows. A few more clicks activate flashing lights and sirens, putting the school in lockdown. More importantly, those extra clicks automatically dispatch law enforcement to the school while displaying the employee's precise location on a map. It is of great benefit because it allows for an immediate response um, and it takes away any kind of delay. Lake County school officials have just agreed to purchase the crisis alert system from a company called Syntegix. District leaders hope to have it up and running in all Lake County schools, including Tavares High, by early next year. Every staff member, every visiting staff member, every district staff member will all receive one of those lanyards and anytime they're on any campus, they will have the ability to trigger that alert. Under a recent state law named after 14-year-old Alyssa Alhadef, who was killed in the Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School shooting, all Florida schools must now have panic alarms to quickly contact first responders. While most of the systems approved by the state are app-based, requiring school employees to use their phones, Lake County leaders like the simplicity of a push button badge, which they say allows the employee to focus on the emergency. Once they ask for help, it's coming. In Seminole County, school leaders are expanding the use of a different kind of technology, one that detects guns on campus. It's called Zero Eyes, and it takes advantage of the school's existing security camera system. As this promotional video shows, Zero Eyes uses artificial intelligence to scan the live video feed looking for objects that resemble firearms. If the computer detects a possible gun, the image is sent to Zero Eyes headquarters in Philadelphia, where former military and law enforcement officers verify whether it is a weapon. That image of the shooter is going to allow first responders to know where to go, who they're looking for, and exactly when that person was at that exact location. Within three to five seconds, law enforcement can get that alert, get to the location of that shooter, and potentially stop that shooter from, from squeezing the trigger. Now, according to Zero Eyes, the vast majority of school shooters display their weapons out in the open while preparing for an attack. Their technology cannot detect concealed weapons or guns that are out of the view of the school cameras. Now, last year, several witnesses claim an Avito High School student brought a gun to a homecoming event that was held outdoors and at night. Now, police never found a gun. There is no indication that the school cameras captured video of a gun and Zero Eyes did not detect one. Matt and Julie.